The 2012 game had one of those 8.15 p.m. kickoffs, so keep in mind as all this is unfolding that the clock is ticking toward midnight. BYU was struggling most of the game. Utah seemed like they were ready to take it over. Riley Nelson, the BYU quarterback, was basically playing with a broken back. But somehow the, the Cougars hung in there and they got one last chance down 24 to 21 deep in their own territory. And somehow the receiver broke free and Nelson completed a long pass that got the Cougars into Ute territory. And then he threw an incompletion and a great number of Ute fans stormed the field because the clock turned to 0 0 0. But one second was put back on the clock, allowing Justin Sorensen to try a 51 yard field goal. Star Lotulale blocked the field goal. JD Falslive, the BYU holder, picked up the ball and was running around desperately trying to do something. Meanwhile, here came the fans again. Ultimately, Falslive was, was tackled near the spot where he picked up the ball. But in a rare occurrence, Utah was penalized 15 yards for having the fans on the field during the play. And BYU got one more down after the 15-yard penalty and was going to be able to try another field goal, only a 36-yarder, with the chance to force overtime. It was so chaotic. Uh, I saw it blocked uh, and, and tried to locate it, picked it up, and that's when you're not thinking about anything, you're just reacting. Um, and, and so I started reacting to the players around me. Uh, and as soon as I got tackled and I stood up and I saw fans in the middle of the field, I knew there was like, I was like, wait, how the heck did they get all the way into there in that short amount of time? Uh, and, and then I heard everybody yelling that they were on the field the whole time during that play. Uh, so I was hoping that we would get a flag and then we did. Okay, remember now, it's almost midnight. And I have to tell this story from a personal standpoint and that is literally wondering what the Salt Lake Tribune is going to do if this game goes into overtime because they literally have to start printing the paper at 1215 I think and who knows how long an overtime session could last and so BYU sends out Riley Stevenson who actually was the team's punter but he kicked the shorter field goals as opposed to Justin Sorensen with the long ones at that time. So it was a 36 yarder to, to force overtime and it would have been a very controversial ending actually, obviously if BYU somehow had gone on to win the game because of getting that one extra play after the fans rushed onto the field. So the ball's in the air. We're all wondering what the world we're gonna do with our deadlines. And wouldn't you know, the kick hits the left upright and bounces away and for the third and final time, the Ute fans rush the field. 15 yards closer. Yeah. And, and, and that's, what, that's what probably stung the most is now we're closer. And we have a, Riley Stevenson was a great kicker um, and had done well for us that whole year and did well for us after that. Um, and it's just how the ball rolls. It's, it's crazy how it goes because from behind, it was going straight down the middle, right? And then it just hangs a left and hits the upright. 